Hi, I'm Rich here at New Life Scientific, and uh, I want to shoot a video quickly of this uh, Vectormark workstation that we got in. Um, we definitely went, I went clear through the unit and uh, got everything working except the one thing, and that's the laser. Um, the laser in the unit seems to be hung up um, in, a, in a transition, and I'm going to point that out. Um, as far as the software, the chilling, the the, the pre-marking, everything is working good, but we just didn't get to the point where it actually is doing the marking. Now I could have, uh, it could be just a user error on my part, but we, we want to sell it as um, partially working because I believe it's an easy fix for somebody that knows how to work on lasers. But I'm just going to demonstrate everything here a little bit where we're at on it. It was being used to mark, it's a 30 watt laser, so it's been used to mark um, and etch aluminum. And in here we have a, um, one of the last projects, has a lot of files in there where it uh, was actually um, marking this, has a little jig built here to clip these in and uh, switch them out. But I've actually pulled up that file and I'm gonna turn on the, the marking, I'm gonna jump over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch on the pilot laser and then show you the marking. And in here you can see the pilot laser's working fine. It's going across, running the program, and running down on this particular file. And that works fine. Um, the only problem, like I said, is what we're running into is the actual laser. The laser's on, um, it's showing 100% power, but um, it's just not, uh, I'm not getting anything. Like I said, could be user error for me on my part, I'm just not familiar with these. But as you can see, it does have a, um, a x-axis here where uh, it moves, moves the table across so that it can then reach the other half here. So right now, it would burn that and it would move over and do this. So the work area you can see is about the size um, here. That's the work area. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna shut that off and show you. Um, I'm gonna just shut the pilot laser off. And close the door. And then look, you can see everything is ready to go. Laser on, control on, laser is ready, defocusing ready, shutter open. Everything has went through, um, the chilling is working, but, and it's all ready to go where you literally just have to push the button over here and it says marking process is running. So it's actually running that file and it, and it thinks that it's um, marking but like I said, there could be something that I'm missing. The safety curtain comes open and then you could put your new product in there and just restart, restart the cycle. Um, like I said, it seems to be really functioning well except the actual laser. And I'm gonna open up the side panel real quick over here just to show you where I track down the laser, where it comes in and right here here's the laser sits on this side the two um, and it comes across here and I should have actually took this open here too but it's coming in to where it runs across and then moves down here everything is open but the, when the laser comes in um, it's not uh, moving forward there where um, but other than that, everything in here is operating. Like I said, if you're real familiar with the laser portion, the head is working good, um, the exhaust is working, the, the table, the axis is, are working. Um, you got the two different axes are up and down and then back and forth here. And then of course the marking head is working good too. But, uh, like I said, it's, you know, I think it's a 2007 and still has got a lot of good use on it. If somebody can 
get it running. Um, but like, like I said, we are selling it at this point without the laser actually working. And then uh, the last person that actually had this running had a lot of um, operator's manuals, uh, software manuals, and uh, interface manuals and descriptions, extra filters, and then a lot of documentation where they have a lot of backup CDs and different things there, and just um, some extra light bulbs and different things here. But just a, uh, just a mountain of information there for the machine. Um, they still, um, this machine's very popular out there, so it's, it's just a well-known machine. And, but anyways, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give us a call here at New Life Scientific, and thank you for watching.